Hello everyone, my name is Raven, and welcome to my Blitzmax tutorial series. In this series, we're going to learn how to create 2D games inside of Blitzmax, as well as our own editors and software applications. And later on, we will eventually move on to using OpenGL, and we will create our own OpenGL games with its own editor. Okay, so first, what is Blitzmax? Blitzmax is a product by Blitz Research, and you can see more well, actually, you can find Blitzmax at blitzmax.com or blitzbasic.com. Uh, link to Blitzmax is in the description. Now, there isn't a demo on Linux, which for those of you, if you're wondering what operating system I'm on, I am actually on Xubuntu. Uh, so you'll have to buy it if you want to run it on Linux. So sorry, Linux guys that are hopefully watching this. Uh, but you can get a Windows and Mac version. And you can, and it does work, and you can run it through Wine. Okay, so the first thing we're going to cover is this is uh, our IDE, and this is where we'll do all of our coding. Now, uh, if you have Windows, you can get a much better IDE called Blide. Uh, it does cost money, but there is a free non commercial version that you can try out. Uh, however, I actually use the Community Edition. So you'll actually see me using the Community Edition for all of our tutorials, except for this one. Uh, and there will be a link to the Community Edition in this video and every video. OK, so the first thing you'll notice is that this uh, sorry, this IDE is pretty basic and straightforward. Uh, here you have all your file editing commands and your IDE options. And you guys can adjust these to however you like. You can use all these icons up here are pretty straightforward. New, open, close, save, cut, copy, paste, search, build. Uh, if we if we run this right here, and you can also do it up here, build, which is, as you can see, control B, and build and run, which is control R. Uh, this will essentially, if we do build, it will build it, but not run it. And obviously, we can build and run. And we will cover program and stuff, uh, these options more uh, in later tutorials. Uh, we also have build options. We can do a quick build, debug, threaded, build GUI app once more. We'll cover all of that. Um, so a thing to mention, uh, if you click this right here, uh, we'll also cover these later when we actually do the debugging tutorial. And right here is the home. If you're, say right here, where you have your help, which is the first tab that's always open and will always stay open, if you go in the language reference and you want to get back, you can use the arrow keys or you can hit the home key to jump straight out. Okay. And obviously help. And quick help is F1. So if you type in a command like print, you can hit F1 and down here you can see the parameters for it. Or you can double click F1 and it'll take you straight to the help page for print. Okay. So that concludes this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're going to cover comments and some other useful things that we're going to need before we get started with the series. Then we are going to do a nice quick rundown on the basic Blitzmax language itself. And then we're going to get started building 2D games. All right. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Thank you.